I've been an audiologist fitting patients with hearing aids now for over 30 years. And primarily I've worked with people of all ages and with people of all degrees of hearing loss and um, as well as working with people who have phantom sounds in their ears as well. So my focus primarily has been uh, fitting hearing aids and working with patients who have ringing in their ears or tinnitus. I think the major challenge in fitting hearing aids is that nobody really wants to wear hearing aids. It's not like you when you're a little child that you grow up saying my goal in life is to wear a pair of hearing aids. People unfortunately in many societies have a stigma about wearing hearing aids. Some people feel it makes them look older, some people feel it doesn't make them look as intelligent as someone else and it's been difficult to change that stigma. Fortunately now there are more hearing aids that are cosmetically more appealing and the hearing aids simply are much better now so that the Part of the stigma of having a hearing loss where you're constantly asking for repeats, where you're making mistakes in how you respond to questions, is not so prevalent anymore. People can use their hearing aids to change the quality of their life. They could use their hearing aids to allow their brain to react to other situations other than exerting this tremendous amount of effort just trying to listen in a manner that the rest of us just take for granted because listening becomes such a natural phenomena. It's an interesting response that we get from patients or from people who are going to try hearing aids when we mention that you're, you're an appropriate candidate for wearing two hearing aids. Many patients will say, can't I get by with just one? And there's a number of reasons that are explained to the patient about why two hearing aids are better than one. Interestingly enough, many people out there who have hearing loss don't realize that we don't hear in our ears, we hear in our brain. And because we hear in our brain, there are the brain is just a rich structure of neurons that process things in a variety of manners. And to allow the brain to fill in for what the ears can't provide, the brain needs to get as much information as possible. So some people will say, well, I won't look good if I wear two hearing aids. Well, my answer there is that if you wear one hearing aid, you're going to be seen with the one hearing aid, and your other hearing in your other ear is still going to be handicapped and so your reaction to conversation is going to be more limited and your appearance in that sense becomes worse than if you've got two hearing aids on. Another concern that some individuals have is that wearing two hearing aids means that they're going to experience too much loudness. There's a flaw in this thinking and the flaw in the thinking is simply this. When you wear two hearing aids, you have this binaural summation effect. The brain takes a signal from both sides and literally will it allow you to achieve the same loudness at a lower gain level. So when I have had patients that said, well, I don't want to be over amplified by wearing two hearing aids, what I do is I assure them that we're going to achieve the correct loudness for them, the correct intensity for them, because we're going to be able to balance the hearing signals at the two ears at a lower volume and still get the same loudness because of what the brain will do for us rather than what the ears themselves will do for us. Why would a hearing care professional not recommend two hearing aids for a person who has hearing loss in both ears? And there's really a number of reasons. Some of them are legitimate. Some of them, I think, need to be better thought out. For example, there's the issue of cost. Well, we can't deny the fact that two hearing aids cost more than one hearing aid. I guess the question is, is that cost is not simply a monetary value. 
Cost is also a satisfaction value that we have to consider. If we fit one hearing aid on a person and they're not getting great benefit or great satisfaction from that hearing aid, have we really justified the cost of the one as opposed to putting them to a little extra cost but providing them with a lot more benefit? This concept of benefit to cost ratio is very important but it's not just the cost that's in that equation. It's also the benefit relative to the cost. So in my opinion, the merits of two hearing aids really do justify a greater cost. And if you have to go to a slightly less expensive hearing aid in order to be able to fit somebody binaurally, in my experience, I think that that's quite justified. There is also the question about occlusion. There are some individuals who legitimately will claim that they're, they feel more stuffed up when they wear two hearing aids versus when they only wear one hearing aid. And that is the case for a, a relatively small percentage of hearing aid users. That's changed a lot over the years. That was a legitimate concern 10 years ago, 15 years ago. Now, because of much better feedback circuitry in hearing aids, because of better noise reduction in hearing aids, we're able to use hearing aids that are more wide open. We're able to use open fittings. We're able to use ear molds that are vented. We're able to use in-the-ear hearing aids that have much larger vents than we've been able to use in the past. And so the occlusion effect is not as relevant as it was a decade ago. Another reason that people might reject wearing two hearing aids is the feel that it takes much more time to fit two hearing aids. Well, it does, again, take a little more time to fit two hearing aids. It does not double the time to, take two, uh, to fit two hearing aids. We've done studies at our university that suggests that maybe there's an extra 10 minutes involved in fitting that second hearing aid. And so I think the concept that it's going to take more time, again, is a very small price to pay when you can recognize some of the merits that the end user or the, the patient or the client is going to get from wearing two hearing aids in terms of their ability to understand speech and noise and in terms of their reduced listening effort. Such an important issue. Another issue that some people concern, are concerned about is binaural integration or conversely binaural interference. There are studies that show that a significant percentage of particularly elderly patients actually are, have a binaural interference when they wear two hearing aids. They actually may have more trouble in noise than wearing one hearing aid. This is in a small percentage of individuals, but in fact it does exist, so it is a legitimate concern. However, the concept that the importance of the two hearing aids, the importance of the brain integrating the signal at both sides is something that should always be our primary consideration. If we find an individual that has binaural interference, we can withdraw the second hearing aid. It should never be assumed before the fitting, it should never be an a priori decision that a person is going to have binaural interference either because of a asymmetry between the ears or because of the age of the patient or because of the word recognition ability of a patient. We should always try the two hearing aids first and then we can step back if we have to. The, the, the improvements from the two hearing aids always justifies that attempt to try it, unless, of course, one ear is completely unaidable. There's a reason we have ears on both sides of our head, and it's not simply to be able to hold glasses up. We have two ears because we utilize the signals on both sides in our brain to be able to work our way through the everyday complex acoustic environments that we experience. I've always felt, and I think that most professionals would feel, that the best way to compensate for an impairment is to try to simulate the normal situation. The normal situation is 
two ears. The normal situation is two eyes. That's why we use glasses that have lenses on both sides, and that's why we really need to use hearing aids on both sides so that we can give the signals to the brain so that the brain can operate in a natural fashion that best allows us to get through our everyday world.